Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the CSA NET February 2022. Today we will discuss about all those questions related to the inner product space with the help of the shortcut tricks. The last lecture was on the linear algebra, complex analysis and the real analysis that we already covered all those questions with the help of the shortcut tricks. You can easily find on my YouTube channel Dr. Harish uh, available at here. Now what we can do in this lecture is we will try to solve the inner product question with the help of the shortcut to XR there. So what is the scenario of the CSR net uh, examinations are there? Uh, maximum of the two questions will definitely ask in the CSR net examination in every year related to the inner product space. So that's a very simple question are there. You can solve each question within a one minutes with the help of the shortcut tricks that I explain you in this lecture. So let's start with these questions are there. So if you read this statement very carefully, n is my fixed natural number. So first of all, it's a natural number. Which of the following is the inner product space of the n cross n? Now here it is true this, which of the following is true for this? So it should be for all the values of the n. So what you can do is you can firstly think about either n is 2, 3, 4 as per your convenience. So I can consider as a 2 cross 2. That's a very easy task. And what you can do whenever there is a question related to the inner product space, you always try these shortcut tricks. Look about that. A very simple tricks about that. That is, you all, all of us knows that the inner product is a positive and 0 if and only if uh, itself matrix is 0. So first of all, if you think about that, this is a greater than 0. But here you can see this is the product of the two numbers. So all of us knows that the product of the two numbers positive only when both are positive or both are negative. So can you consider this as a one example, say uh, uh, we need a symmetric matrix. So say if I consider two, this is a minus three, zero and zero, say these are symmetric matrix. Okay. And if I consider B is my say one, zero, zero, zero. Clear. So what is that trace of the A's? Trace of A is my minus one, trace of B is my one. So what is that? If you take them product, the answer will be less than zero. So clearly say that it does not satisfy. So this option is cancel out. Similarly, for here, you can see this is the uh, sum of the two the matrix are there. So again, it can, when, when it will be the positive, when both are positive. And what will happen if I consider this number as say 1, 0, 0, 0 again, this is the my A. If I consider B as my say 2, minus 3, uh, say minus 4, 0 and 0. So what is the trace of this matrix? It's a 1. What is the trace of this matrix? It's a minus 2. So you can see the this answer is minus 1 which is not greater than 0. So this option also cancel out. Look about these two options are there. Now this is the determinant. So again this is the determinant of AB. So what you can do is if I simply take A as my here and I consider B also as here. So it means this is nothing but my A comma A. So look about this rule. If it is 0, only when A is 0. So A is non-zero. So what is the determinant of AB? So if you write as a AB, what is that AB? So AB is my 1, 0, 0, 1. So what is the determinant of this? 1 is a non-zero. So is uh, sorry, determinant is my 0. This is my 0. Determinant is my 0. But you can see when the, the inner product is 0, if and only if A is 0. But you can see A is a non-zero. So it means this option also cancel out the right answer is my B. In fact, whenever you are talking about the real symmetric matrix, this is the definition of the inner product space. So this is the way you can solve this in a very simple way. Look about the another one is there. So which of the following is the inner product? So again, this is the inner product. So you can consider these two rules are there. There is a positive and some of them is a zero and so on. But here you can see these are the vectors are there. So what I can tell you a shortcut trick is you can write this matrix whatever the inner product space in terms of here. What is the axis? This is my x. This is my y. You have to find the matrix A and prove that they have the positive eigenvalue. Like uh, if I say 1, 2, 4 and 3. So this is a matrix here. So th there is no need of this matrix. So how you can prove that it's a positive eigenvalue? So it means you have to prove that this is a positive definite. You have to either prove that it's a positive definite or else you have to prove that the diagonal entries are my positive and the determinants are positive. So whenever these two conditions are satisfied, it means eigenvalues by positive. 
so let's do for this if you write the matrix corresponding to this this is my x1 x2 this is my y1 y2 so x1 x2 that's a coefficient is 1 x1 y2 coefficient is my 2 this is my 2 this is my 1 clearly says that the diagonal entries are my positive but what is the determinant determinant is my less than 0 it means this doesn't satisfy this is a wrong answer look about this one is 1 1 1 and 2 diagonals are positive what is the determinant is 1 which is a positive value so this is the right answer since it is a question related to the part c so it may have more than one correct answer look about these options so if you write the matrix this is a 1 1 1 and 1 so the diagonal entries are positive but the determinant is 0 which is not greater than 0 this option is cancel out look about this one this is the 1 minus half minus half 1 diagonals are positive and what is the determinant is 1 minus 1 by 4 that is 3 by 4 which is a positive so the right answer is my what is the right answer of this problem is b and d are there so remember that whenever there is a question related to the inner product space and if they are talking about the vectors you can write in terms of here and then check whether which is satisfied or not on the other hand if they are talking about uh, something about this uh, trace or determinant then you have to use these simple concepts are there. So I hope you can simply learn the concept behind this and solve the every problems are there. You can find the, my previous lectures on the CSN net examinations. You can find the playlist, playlist CSN net gate IITGM channel name Dr. Harishgar where you can find the various previous videos are there. You can also watch the inner product space questions related to the CSN net 2020, ordinary differential equation sequence series, real analysis and 2019 papers are also with you. So I hope you can simply learn from this. Till then, you can simply like, share and comment this video with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.